for you this day in history. Let's start off with July 17th. In 1955, Disneyland opens. In 1996, Flight 800 explodes over Long Island. In 2014, Eric Garner dies in NYPD chokehold. In 2014, Malaysia Airlines Flight 17 shot down over the Ukraine-Russia border. In 1967, Jimi Hendrix drops out as opening act for the Monkees. In 2020, Congressman and civil rights leader John Lewis dies. In 1938, Douglas Wrongway Corrigan crosses the Atlantic. In 1920, three-point seatbelt inventor Niels Bolin born. In 1975, superpowers meet in space. In 1941, Joe DiMaggio ends 56-game hitting streak. In 1945, President Harry Truman records his impressions of meeting Stalin. In 1763, John Jacob Astor is born. In 1944, an ammunition ship explodes in the Port Chicago disaster. In 1945, Potsdam Conference begins. And let us go on to this day in history, July 18th. In 1940, FDR nominated for unprecedented third term. In 1969, Senator Ted Kennedy drives car off bridge at Chappaquiddick Island. In 1792, naval hero John Paul Jones dies in Paris. In 64, Nero's Rome burns. In 1989, sitcom actor, actress murdered. Death prompts anti-stalking legislation. In 1995, Barack Obama's Dreams from My Father is published. In 1863, Assault of Battery, Wagner, and Death of Robert Gould Shaw. In 1984, 21 people are shot to death at McDonald's. In 1986, video of Titanic record, wreckage released. In 1947, Harry S. Truman signs Second Presidential Succession Act. In 1914, labor activist and singer Joe Hill sentenced to death. In 1925, Hitler's Mein Kampf is published. In 1936, Spanish Civil War breaks out. And let us go on to uh, Word of the Day. Our Word of the Day is Potsherd. P-O-T-S-H-E-R-D. Noun, Middle English, 14th century. It means a broken piece of ceramic material, especially one found on an archaeological site. Examples in a sentence. Charlotte was surprised to find pots heard in the lower depths of her backyard garden. One moment. And the archaeological dig revealed only rocks until Dr. Jones discovered a potsherd. That's interesting. And let's go on to some interesting facts. Your interesting fact for today, thumbs have their own pulse. If you've ever seen someone track their pulse in real life or on a crime drama, you'll notice that the index and middle finger are always pressed on the next carotid artery which is responsible for transporting blood to the brain. There's a reason why doctors and actors who play doctors on TV use these fingers and not say their thumbs. While your thumbs is good for, thumb is good for many things, taking your pulse is not one of them. Unlike the other four digits, the thumb has its own exclusive artery. The principles, the pre, princeps pollicis, which makes it biologically unreliable as a pulse reader because you'll feel it pulse instead of the artery in your neck. Among the 34 muscles and 26 bones and three major nerves in the hand, there are also two key arteries supplying blood to the area, the ulnar and the radial. The ulnar artery branches at the wrist into a network of blood supply vessels called the superficial palmar arch, 
which then branches to supply blood to the top four fingers. The radial artery, meanwhile, branches at the wrist into the deep palmar arch, which then branches to the precepts pollicis artery, sending blood to the thumb. But today there are more modern methods of tracking your pulse that use technology in lieu of touch. The Apple Watch, one of the most popular consumer fitness tracking devices, relies on a process called photoplethonismography, which leverages the fact that the blood reflects red light and absorbs green light. The watch uses green LED lights that flash hundreds of times per second, as well as light-sensitive photodiodes that help measure the amount of green light absorption, and thus blood flow and pulse, no fingers, and definitely no thumbs required. That's interesting. And Salvador Dali designed the Chupa Chupa Loco. You may not know it by name, but you're most certainly familiar with Salvador Dali's best known work, The Persistence of Memory, which depicts melting clocks on a, break, on a bleak landscape. No less famous, albeit in an entirely different way, is the Chupa Chups logo, which Dali also designed. While the idea of a surrealist collaborating with a lollipop company may sound odd, it begins to make sense when you learn a bit more about the eccentric artist. Starting with the fact that he was close friends with Chupa Chups founder, Enric Burnett, a fellow Spaniard. The two met at a cafe one day in 1969, with Burnett making Dolly aware of his need for a logo and the world-renowned artist quickly taking care of it for him. He did so with great intention, of course, acutely aware of presentation. Dolly insisted that his design be placed on top of the lolly rather than on the side so that it would always be viewed intact. <clears throat> Dolly reportedly designed the instant recognizable daisy-based logo in less than an hour on that fateful day, and it's still in use decades, not to mention billions of sales later. And your quote for today comes from Luvi Ajayi. Fear has a very concrete power of keeping us from doing and saying the things that are our purpose. Fear has a very concrete power of keeping us from doing and saying the things that are our purpose. Let's get another quote. This is from Edith Wharton. Set aside the window, let me drink the day. Set aside the window, let me drink the day. And let us go on to our daily devotional. And I will read yesterday's and today's. Yesterday's. Learn to trust. It is so simple to say, don't worry, God is in control. Of course you know that. But sometimes your heart or your mind just can't let go some of some worry. Even when you give it to God, you keep grabbing it back. Jesus knows that worry will suck the energy right out of your life. Worry takes away hope. Trust and worry cannot live in the same heart. There just isn't room for both. You can't change anything by worrying about it. Your worry won't lengthen your life. In fact, it might shorten it. Learn to trust God, even if you must learn that by the tiniest of baby steps, learn to trust. Can any one of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life. Matthew chapter 6 verse 27. Dear Father, I don't want to worry, but every time I give my worries to you, I end up snatching them back just a little bit of time. Sometimes you don't do things as quickly as I want you to, as I want you to. I am sorry. Please forgive me and give me the courage to leave my worries with you. In Jesus' name, amen. And today's devotional, the most important thing. Yes, God knows what you need. Does that mean you will always have everything you need? No, because there are lessons to be learned in times of need that can be learned no other way. So what is Jesus saying here? There is a more important issue at stake than having exactly what you need, and that is a true, deep relationship with Jesus. Don't make getting stuff the thing that takes all your focus and your energy. God knows what your needs are, even before you know what they are. Stay close to Him and trust Him. 
That must be the most important thing. Do not worry saying, what shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? Matthew chapter 6 verse 31. In the darkest of nights, cling to the assurance that God loves you, that he always has advice for you, a path that you can tread, and a solution to your problems. And you will experience that which you believe. God never disappoints anyone who places his trust in him. And we will go on to today's holidays. So today's holidays, it is Nelson Mandela International Day, World Listening Day, Global Hug Your Kids Day, Insurance Nerd Day, Marine Day in Japan, National Caviar Day, National Dapper Your Data Day, National Get Out of the Dog House Day, National Sour Candy Day, Perfect Family Day, President's Day in Botswana, Uruguay Constitution Day, Nelson Mandela's birthday and Vin Diesel's birthday. So I hope you find a way to celebrate. And in the meantime, please stay safe, be kind to one another, and as always, happy yarning. Bye now.